Hello, I'm JW. Now, what happens when you take a plug, such as this uh, fairly ordinary item, that has a loose connection on one of the pins, so the wire is probably loose or some problem inside, and then put it into a socket? Well, the answer is this happens, and as you can see here, it's uh, overheated considerably and actually burnt and damaged the socket, and it actually comes through on the back, which we'll have a look at again in a moment. Now this is bad enough, but of course uh, what happens when you then take the damaged and busted plug out of here that was overheating and put it in another socket somewhere else? Well the answer is this happens, and what happened here is that it's uh, damaged to such an extent you can't actually get the plug out of here because it's actually seized in. And again if you look on the back here you'll see the damaged parts here on the corner, and it's sort of somewhat discoloured. Here's a close look at the back and you see it's actually melting the back plastic here, it's brown in this case, and it's actually breaking away at the sides here, it's all sort of discoloured and horrible. And if you look down the side of this, you'll see that the pin at the top here is uh, perfectly okay, but the one at the corner here, it's all charred and blackened, and basically it's now welded itself into the socket. Now let's see if we can actually get this out of here, we're going to have to use some uh, with this because uh, clearly this is not going to end well. So there we have it. So of course totally destroyed. This obviously has been already replaced hence uh, have to take it out with the plug already in there. But uh, you can see around here clearly that it's completely charred and blackened and it's actually started to go on the other side as well as the, you know, the heat has spread from one side to the other, and the actual plug here, the pins on it here are completely destroyed. The earth seems to have a certain amount of uh, corrosion there, that sort of bluey green colour. And these you see have actually completely overheated and melted, and it's stuck in basically because the plastic shield here, or sort of sleeving there, has melted away and is now smaller in size than the pin at the end. So of course as it goes in, then you've got that sort of lip there to uh, prevent it from coming out of the socket. So just undo the centre screw here, and that should release the lid, although as it melts it together. Well, it's not doing very well. We'll just remove these in case they have actually melted. These are actually the Thing just to grip the flex, but considering the temperatures this has obviously got up to. So I'll just remove both of those completely. So normally this wouldn't be necessary because these only hold a little strip across the back of the flex, but in this case who knows what's gone wrong inside. So let's see if we can uh, pry our way in. Right, so there we have it. So the flex grip there is that white piece which is relatively intact. The cable is excessively crushed there actually, even due to the uh, heat wouldn't have caused it to be that badly damaged. I mean that's literally been pinched down to the max. This is a sort of a rubbery type flex here, so it's not the usual PVC type of thing. And have a look in the lid here, see it's actually melted partly onto the lid. Here's obviously where the uh, melting has occurred around the fuse area, and it's also blackened here, and it started to go pretty much over on the other side where the neutral is as well. Now, if we pull this out here, you'll see that the insulation is basically stuck to the plastic there. So let's just see if we can undo this and take this out. Now, this was most likely caused by some sort of a loose connection, and it's either going to be the wires themselves or the fuse and the little clips that hold it in place. And the only other option here is that it was grossly overloaded. But that's uh, fairly unlikely given the fact we've got the fuse in it anyhow, which of course sort of prevented that from happening. But as you can see the neutral, even though I've taken the screw completely out, the uh, neutral wire is completely jammed. It comes out of the uh, earth pin okay. Now this pin is a bit corroded, uh, obviously this is a brass pin, and this is uh, sort of a green corrosion on there, probably for moisture in somewhere or other, but this bearing mine was an extension lead, so it could have been used in all kinds of different places. Now the fuse here, just so we can uh, 
pry this out of here. It does seem to be reasonably well attached, certainly uh, at the end there, so it's not basically just falling out of there. So it looks to be fairly intact, and you can see there's a uh, mark on it. So the silvery mark there, where it's basically graunched against the holder. Now that is completely melted in there, there's no way that's going to come out. And the same on this side, although the damage is certainly far worse on the line side here, although the neutral hasn't fared too well either. Here's the actual copper, and this is the neutral here which the insulation has deteriorated. It's the earth there which of course didn't carry any current at all. And the line here seems to be the most discoloured, so Again, supporting that's where the loose connection was and it could have been simply just the fact that the screw in this wasn't actually tightened down fully and so it doesn't take a lot particularly with a fairly large load to cause this sort of damage and once it starts to heat up then that actually makes the situation worse because the heat will uh, cause a higher resistance on the connection and of course uh, makes it even worse and so it repeats until uh, this is kind of the result so here's the range of the socket and the most of the damage again around the line pin here, but the neutral has also got some discoloration. And if you look on the back, you can see the charring and blackening there all around the plastic moulding. These contacts would have been severely damaged by that, so even if you manage to get the plug out, again, it's still going to be uh, unsuitable because it won't have the required springiness in it to make a good connection. And uh, also all that brittled and damaged around the back. However, one point about this is because of the material that these are made of, uh, they don't actually uh, set on fire or melt. It's a sort of plastic which does uh, just char like this, and then obviously eventually it will become brittle and be damaged. But uh, certainly, it's, uh, although it's obviously failed, it has failed in a reasonably safe fashion. Here's the one which is reasonably intact, and similar damage here, the blackening and charring, but the actual plastic is still intact, and even on the back you're going to see it just starting to uh, bubble a bit on the back here, but it's all basically still enclosed. And on this particular one we can see that the shutter has actually failed in the open position. So this is what it should be like with the uh, covers there, so I can't poke uh, things in there and be getting electric shock. But this one, because of this obviously damaging and burning here, that's actually jammed partially open, so you can now get in there and see that metallic contact. So even if this hadn't been burnt, uh, if you've seen uh, one like that with the open hole, then it will need to be replaced anyhow. So if you ever find a plug like this is getting hot or uh, even warm on the back, then uh, there's something wrong inside, probably a loose wire or something. And if you carry on, then uh, this is going to be the result, and you're going to have to have the entire thing replaced. And of course, if you then uh, take the faulty plug out of here and put it somewhere else, then you're just going to create this problem somewhere else, and eventually all of the sockets in your house will need to be replaced. So just bear that in mind, uh, plugs generally should not be getting hot if they are something is wrong. So until next time, thanks for watching.